Mobutu conquered Congo, the complex history of the leopard of Zaire. Mobutu Sese Seko Kukungwendu, born Joseph Desiree Mobutu on the 14th of October 1930, was a Congolese politician and military officer who was the president of the Democratic Republic of the Congo from 1965 to 1971 and later Zai from 1971 to 1997. He also served as chairman of the Organization of African Unity from 1967 to 1968. During the Congo crisis, Mobutu serving as chief of staff of the army and supported by Belgium and the United States, deposed the democratically elected government of nationalist Patrice Lumumba in 1960. Mobutu installed a government that arranged for Lumumba's execution in 1961 and continued to lead the country's armed forces until he took power directly in a second coup in 1965. Welcome to the channel and if you're new here, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new updates. To consolidate his power, he established the Popular Movement of the Revolution as the sole legal political party in 1967, changed the Congo's name to Zaire in 1971 and his own name to Mobutu Sese Seko in 1972. Mobutu claimed that his political ideology was neither left nor right nor even center. Though nevertheless he developed a regime that was intensely autocratic, even by African standards of his time. He attempted to purge the country of all colonial cultural influence through his program of national authenticity. Mobutu was the object of a persuasive cult of personality. During his rule, he amassed a large personal fortune through economic exploitation and corruption, leading some to call his rule a kleptocracy. He presided over a period of widespread human rights violations. Under his rule, the nation also suffered from uncontrolled inflation, a large debt and massive currency devaluations. Early Years and Education Mobutu, a member of the Ngbandi ethnic group, was born in 1930 in Lisala, Belgian Congo. Mobutu's mother, Marie Madeleine Yemo, was a hotel maid who fled to Lesala to escape the harem of a local village chief. There, she met and married Alberic Bimani, a cook for a Belgian George. Shortly afterward, she gave birth to Mobutu. The name Mobutu was selected by an uncle. Bimani died when Mobutu was eight. Thereafter, he was raised by an uncle and a grandfather. The Belgian judge's wife took a liking to Mobutu and taught him to speak, read and write fluently in the French language, the official language of the country in the colonial period. His widowed mother Yemo relied on the help of relatives to support her four children and the family moved often. Mobutu's earliest education took place in the capital, Leopoldville, now Kinshasa. His mother eventually sent him to an uncle in Coquilatville, where he attended the Christian Brothers School, a Catholic mission boarding school. A physically imposing figure, he eventually stood over six feet, two meters tall. Mobutu dominated school sports also. He excelled in academic subjects and ran the class newspaper. He was known for his pranks and impish sense of humor. A classmate recalled that when the Belgian priest, whose first language was Dutch, made an error in French, Mobutu would leap to his feet in class and point out the mistake. In 1949, Mobutu stowed away aboard a boat, traveling downriver to Leopoldville, where he met a girl. The priest found him several weeks later. At the end of the school year, in lieu of being sent to prison, he was ordered to serve seven years in the colonial army, the Force Publique. This was a usual punishment for rebellious students. Army Service Mobutu found discipline in army life, as well as a father figure, Insurgent Luis Bobozo. 
Mobutu kept up his studies by borrowing European newspapers from the Belgian officers and books from wherever he could find them, reading them on sentry duty and whenever he had a spare moment. His favorites were the writings of French President Charles de Gaulle, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and Italian Renaissance philosopher Niccolo Machiavelli. After passing a course in accounting, Mobutu began to double professionally in journalism. Still angry after his clashes with the school priest, he did not marry in a church. His contribution to the wedding festivities was a crate of beer, all his army salary could afford. His early political involvement As a soldier, Mobutu wrote pseudonymously on contemporary politics for African news, a magazine set up by a Belgian colonial. In 1956, he quit the army and became a full-time journalist, writing for the Leopoldville Daily L'Avenir. Two years later, he went to Belgium to cover the 1958 World Exposition and stayed to receive training in journalism. By this time, Mobutu had met many of the young Congolese intellectuals who were challenging colonial rule. He became friendly with Patrice Lumumba and joined Lumumba's Mouvement National Congolais. Mobutu eventually became Lumumba's personal aide. Several contemporaries indicate that Belgian intelligence had recruited Mobutu to be an informant to the government. During the 1960 talks in Brussels on Congolese independence, the U.S. Embassy held a reception for the Congolese delegation. Embassy staff were each assigned a list of delegation members to meet and discuss their impressions afterward. The ambassador noted one name kept coming up, but it wasn't on anyone's list because he wasn't an official delegation member. He was Lumumba's secretary. But everyone agreed that this was an extremely intelligent man, very young, perhaps immature, but a man with great potential. Following the general election, Lumumba was taxed with creating a government. He gave Mobutu the office of secretary of state to the presidency. Mobutu held much influence in the final determination of the rest of the government. Coups, presidential reign, and death. When the Congo became independent on June 30, 1960, the coalition government of President Joseph Kazavubu and Premier Lumumba appointed Mobutu Secretary of State for National Defense. Eight days later, the Congo's force public mutinied against its Belgian officers. As one of the few officers with any control over the army, gained by liberally dispensing commissions and back pay to the mutineers, Mobutu was in a position to influence the developing power struggle between Kasavubu and Lumumba. Mobutu covertly supported Kasavubu's attempt to dismiss Lumumba. When Lumumba rallied his forces to Ust Kasavubu in September 1960, Mobutu seized control of government and announced that he was neutralizing all politicians. In February 1961, however, Mobutu turned over the government to Kasavubu, who made Mobutu commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Many believe that Mobutu bore more responsibility for the death of Lumumba, who was arrested by Mobutu's troops and flown to Katanga, where it is believed he was killed by Congolese or Katangese troops. As commander-in-chief, Mobutu reorganized the army. In 1965, after a power struggle had developed between President Kasavubu and his premier, Moise Shombe, Mobutu removed Kasavubu in a coup and assumed the presidency. Two years later, Mobutu put down an uprising led by white mercenaries attached to the Congolese army. His efforts to revive the Congo's economy included such measures as nationalizing the Katanga copper mines and encouraging foreign investment. Agricultural revitalization lacked, however, and consequently the need for food imports increased. As president, Mobutu moved to Africanized names. The name of the country was changed in October 1971 from the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the Republic of Zaire. The country reverted to its earlier name in 1997. In January 1972, 
He changed his own name from Joseph Desiree Mobutu to Mobutu Sese Seku Kokongbendu Wazabanga, which means the all-powerful warrior who, because of his endurance and inflexible will to win, will go from conquest to conquest, leaving fire in his wake. Mobutu attempted to soften the military nature of his regime by filling government's posts with civilians. He sought to build popular support through his popular movement of the revolution, which until 1990 was the country's only legal party. Opposition to his rule came from numerous Congolese exiles, ethnic groups that had played decisive roles in previous governments small farmers who gained no share in the attempted economic revival, and some university students as well. He also faced a continuing threat of attacks on the Shaba region, Mobutu's Africanized name for the Katanga province by Katangese rebels based in Angola. In 1977, Mobutu had to request French military intervention to repel an invasion of Zai by Angolan-backed Katangese. He was re-elected to the presidency in one-man contest in 1970 and 1977. Over the years, Mobutu proved adept at maintaining his rule in the face of internal rebellions and attempted coups, but his regime had little success establishing the conditions needed for economic growth and development. Endermic governmental corruption mismanagement and neglect led to the decline of the country's infrastructure, while Mobutu himself reportedly amassed one of the largest personal fortunes in the world. With the end of the Cold War in the 1990s, Mobutu lost much of the Western financial support that had been provided in return for his intervention in the affairs of Zai's neighbors. Marginalized by the multi-party system and ill, Mobutu finally relinquished control of the government in May 1997 to the rebel leader Laurent Kabila, whose forces had begun seizing power seven months earlier. Mobutu died in exile a short time later. There you have it, Desplorers, everything you need to know about Mobutu Sese Seko Kukungwendu. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and share with a friend.